Kong has one of the best police forces in the Asian region, and the public have a high level of confidence in the Hong Kong police force. This can be attributed not only to the professionalism of the Hong Kong police force, but also to a fair, effective and transparent police complaint system. At the core of this complaint system is the Independent Police Complaints Council. The IPCC was established in 1986. It is an organization completely independent of the police force, with a mission to monitor and review independently, impartially and thoroughly the investigations conducted by the Complaints Against Police Office. IPCC members are appointed by the Chief Executive. They are drawn from different professions such as lawyers, doctors, university professors and corporate decision makers. This composition enables the IPCC to draw upon the diverse expertise of its members to monitor and review complaint cases against the police. The IPCC is supported by a full-time secretariat composed of a number of dedicated teams and a legal advisor to assist members in monitoring cases. The IPCC is not directly involved in investigating complaints. All complaints against the police are investigated by the police's Complaints Against Police Office, or CAPO in short. After CAPO has conducted the investigation, it will submit the investigation report together with relevant files and documents to the IPCC. A case team in the IPCC Secretariat will first study in detail the investigation report and all the related files and documents submitted by CAPO. When areas of doubt are found, the Secretariat would request CAPO to clarify and provide more information. 大家留意到在錄影帶當時在報案室裡有兩個市民坐在那個大堂的前排位置 the Secretariat has doubts with the investigation result after examination, it would request CAPO to reinvestigate or suggest reclassifying the result of the investigation. 我想我們秘書處是要求投訴警察課 Upon receiving Capo's reply and further information, the case team will re-examine the case. After the scrutiny of the Secretariat, the investigation report will then be passed to Council members for their examination. To strengthen the IPCC's function in monitoring, it has set up an observer scheme. Under this scheme, IPCC members or lay observers appointed by the Secretary for Security may observe the investigation process on a scheduled or surprise basis. The IPCC may interview witnesses such as forensic pathologists, government chemists or independent witnesses to clarify any doubtful points for follow-up with CAPO. All complaints involving death or serious injury or of a significant public interest would be monitored by the IPCC's Serious Complaints Committee. Capo has to submit a monthly progress report on the investigation to the committee. The establishment of the IPCC is to bring in the perspectives of members of the community who are independent of the police into the police complaint system, the IPCC seeks to ensure that every complaint investigation is conducted by CAPO fairly, promptly, thoroughly and without any bias. For cases of public interest, the IPCC can raise these cases for discussion with CAPO at the joint meetings held every two months. To enhance transparency, the meetings are open to the public and the media.
The IPCC will endorse the findings of CAPO's investigation only when it is satisfied that the investigation has been fair and thorough. After full investigation, each allegation would be classified into different categories of findings. The Commissioner of Police has full discretion to determine the disciplinary action to be taken against any defaulting officers. But the IPCC can express its opinion to the Commissioner on the appropriateness of the disciplinary measures. The IPCC can suggest to the police to suitably advise the officers to improve their service to the public. It also reviews police procedures to identify areas that may lead to complaints and make recommendations to the Commissioner. In respect of a complaint investigation and classification, which the IPCC cannot agree with the Commissioner, the IPCC, when necessary, can report to the Chief Executive. An effective complaint system must operate without preference to any party. The IPCC, as an independent body overseeing capital's investigation, must ensure that both the complainant and the complainee are treated fairly and justly. Through our participation, we hope there is injected into the police complaint system an unbiased mechanism that has the faith and support of the community. After the IPCC's endorsement of the investigation report, CAPO would inform the complainant and the complainee of the findings of the investigation. It would also take appropriate follow-up action. The IPCC attaches great importance to offering an efficient and quality service. Inquiries by telephone or in person will be handled immediately. Inquiries in writing will be handled within 10 days upon receipt. Monitoring of normal complaint cases will be completed within three months. It is the IPCC's vision to ensure that Hong Kong has a fair, effective and transparent police complaint system so that every complaint against the police is conducted justly, promptly, thoroughly and without prejudice. Looking into the future, the government is planning to turn the IPCC into a statutory body. Legislation is being drawn up to provide a legal framework for the IPCC to exercise its mandated role and power. This would further enhance the IPCC's independence and strengthen public confidence in the police complaint system.